Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Hashim with the Smartphone Champ from the SmartphoneChamp.com. Today we'll be getting into the new Chrome browser for Android 4.0, also known as Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, so without further ado, we'll jump right in, get it opened up. Um, now, as you can see when it first opens up, by default, it looks a little bit like the Chrome browser that you have on your computer. Um, you'll notice here you have your... Um, most visited websites there had we closed any tabs you'd see recently closed tabs there um, so right off the bat you see some similarities between the mobile version of Chrome and the desktop version of Chrome um, now there are some changes uh, between Chrome and the ice cream sandwich browser such as the layout obviously is different uh, than what you would see in the ice cream sandwich browser um, I've noticed that the Chrome browser seems to have a more seamless feel to it. Uh, everything's pretty much buttery smooth inside the Chrome browser. It seems to be a hair smoother than the Ice Cream Sandwich browser, which actually I felt was pretty smooth in itself. Uh, unfortunately, there is no flash in the uh, Chrome browser for Android. Um, Adobe's already stated they have no intention on developing flash so i guess you know it's over and done with there <laughs> flashes in its grave um and also um open tab syncing uh which we'll get into a little bit later where you can sync tabs between your computer and your phone uh so without further ado let's jump even further in um so like i said uh when you first open chrome you'll notice you're on the um most recently oh, excuse me the uh, most visited websites here so you know it's just like Chrome you can just tap one of them and they'll open um, so of course that was in gadget there um, now I'll take this opportunity to show um, the smoothness of the browsing there um, I've got no problems with the fluidity of the browser uh, of course this is um, just one site but you know overall i've had no problems with uh, the smoothness of it um, i'm actually rather impressed with it um, so now going back to the home screen i'll kind of give you a overview of what that looks like um, you have the first button here which is the screen that we're on now most visited websites has your recently closed tabs had we closed anything um, then the next one where you see the star is your list of bookmarks um, it'll show your desktop bookmarks other bookmarks mobile bookmarks so you can just tap one of them and it'll bring up the desktop bookmarks that you have on your computer um, you can hit bookmarks and go back and show the other list and this last one is very interesting to me that's tab syncing uh, if you hit that it'll show a list of tabs that you have open on your computer uh, as of right now I don't have any tabs open so there's nothing to show but when we get back to that we'll demonstrate that um, so speaking of tabs let's go ahead and show uh, one of the big changes um, that I really seem to that I really like um, in this Chrome browser is the tab browsing um, so let's just go ahead and open up um, Madden blacklist um, let's open another new tab and let's try and gadget um, we'll open another oops, excuse me another new tab and let's do Facebook okay so now we have four tabs open now there's a couple of ways that you can navigate through the tabs in the uh, Chrome browser for Android um, you can hit the tabs button there um, and you can scroll through them um, they show like little mini pages there um, you can stack them all up into one um, you can drag it down a little bit you can drag it down a lot kind of has that little 3d effect there um, and you can switch between them uh, so let's go to Engadget there and there you see you know Engadget uh, if you want to switch to the Madden Blacklist, there you are at Madden Blacklist. So the tab switching is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, I, I definitely like it a lot. It, it's pretty sleek there. But now, um, there. let's change this tab to NFL.com because we've got two Engadget tabs open. Okay, now there's also another way that you can change between tabs, and that's to swipe from the edge of the screen onto the screen. So to demonstrate that okay we're on nfl.com correct now voila we're on madden blacklist 
now we're on Engadget.com and that's the first tab. So let's go back over Madden Blacklist, NFL.com, and Facebook. Not bad. I like that. That's very seamless. It's very intuitive. It's very quick. It's very convenient, etc., etc. It's nice. <laughs> no other way to put it. I mean, I, I just really like what they did there with that. That's impressive. Um, now, the throwaway tabs, you can hit the X button like so, or you can just swipe it off of your screen like so. Um, they also have an option there to close all tabs, and you can always do it that way. So, that's your tab browsing in short. Um, now, one of the things that I like about this browser also is there is a constant address bar at the top. Um, now, by the same token, I also don't like that. <laughs> Um, as crazy as that sounds, I like it because no matter how far I scroll, I still have my address bar there and I can go straight to it. Whether I'm in the middle of the page or at the top of the page, it doesn't matter. I can tap on it and, you know, type whatever I want to type. Of course, you can search straight from it. Uh, so if I wanted to search NBA, uh, just hit go and it'll automatically run a Google search for NBA uh, and of course obviously I can type websites from there but it's nice to be able to scroll and still be able to go straight to the address bar that's always nice but my gripe with it is that there is no full screen um, whereas in the ice cream sandwich browser you can make that go away and have the quick controls and bring it up that way um, that is not present in the Chrome browser um, so it's a little bit of an adjustment for me personally because I'm, I was a heavy quick controls user. Um, but this is just as fast as the quick controls um, since it's already there on the screen. Now, one of the things that I did notice is absent in this um, Chrome browser is there is no full screen mode. So the address bar is always going to be there. The uh, notification panel is always going to be there and the buttons at the bottom are always going to be there. Now, of course, in the ice cream sandwich browser, the buttons were always there anyway, but you could at least get rid of the address bar and you could get rid of the notification panel if you wanted to. Um, at least as of right now, that option is not available in Chrome. However, I know Chrome is a beta, so you know perhaps Google will um, institute that in a later iteration, perhaps. Uh, so I guess we're in wait and see mode on that. Um, now, one of the other features that I really like about this um, this Chrome browser is tab syncing. Um, and let's go ahead and bring over uh, the computer and we'll demonstrate that and we'll just open up a couple of sites here um, let's use the Madden blacklist uh, we'll open the smartphone and let's do one more for good measure we'll just do NFL.com okay so we have three tabs open we've got uh, Madden blacklist open the smartphone champ.com and we've got NFL.com open now when we go to our Chrome browser we can just hit new tab remember our button down here that I was showing earlier you tap that and voila you've got Madden blacklist there and you have the other two and we can go ahead and open those also smartphonechamp.com is there and nfl.com is there so it's beautiful um, to be a, to be able to sync your tabs that you're working on or using in your computer and instantly be able to pick them up on your phone. That is really nice. That is really convenient. And it almost, <clears throat> excuse me, it almost makes it so that um, you no longer need Chrome to phone, which I was a um, pretty avid user, uh, avid supporter of uh, Chrome to phone. And now I pretty much don't have to use Chrome to phone if I really don't want to. So to demonstrate that again, let's go ahead and just close out these tabs. Um, and I'll open some new tabs here on the computer. 
Um, so let's go to google.com. Uh, we'll open CNN. And let's do Atlanta Falcons.com. Okay, so we've got the Google tab open, CNN, and Atlanta Falcons. So again, we go to our phone, um, and it doesn't matter, you know, where we are. Um, we can just open a new tab if we want, um, push our button, and we're on that screen. And as you can see, Google, CNN, AtlantaFalcons.com. So let's just go ahead and pick one of them. We'll do Atlanta Falcons. Hey, got to support the home team. <laughs> and voila all right there so i've got no issues um no major issues with the uh, chrome browser for android I, I really really like the tab syncing feature and the new way that they're handling tabs is just gorgeous it really is it is fantastic it is unrivaled um, it's, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Um, and it's definitely going to give something, uh, for the competition to think about, um, when they're using it. I mean, look, here we are on Google and I can just swipe over and change tabs. That, that is just fantastic. That is so convenient. I mean, it's so quick to just change what you're doing. I mean, in the scrolling, I mean, it's very smooth there, as you can see. So now, of course, with this being a beta, uh, there's always going to be some room for improvement, obviously. Um, so, you know, this definitely is by no means a perfect browser. Um, I definitely have seen some things that I feel like they could improve on. Uh, like, for example, the absence of a full screen mode. Um, that kind of it's, it's not that big of a deal for the galaxy nexus uh with it having a 4.65 um inch screen but for a phone like say the nexus s for example that only has a four inch screen i don't think i would really like the idea of having the address bar static there i mean for some it won't be a big deal but for me um i, I don't really care for that um I don't like the fact that Flash is unavailable um, because there are sites that I go to that still do display Flash vi uh, Flash videos. For example, CNN.com, when they have videos on their site, they're in Flash. Um, so in the ICS browser, I can watch them. However, in the Chrome browser for Android, I cannot. Um, so, yeah, that's a little bit of a gripe there. Now, one of the other gripes um, that I do have with the Android, uh, excuse me, with the Chrome browser for Android is they changed the uh, scrolling mechanics. Uh, whereas in ICS, you could scroll as far as you want it in one swipe. Uh, in the Chrome browser, you cannot. Um, so just to kind of demonstrate that in the ICS browser, um, I would be able to flick all the way to the bottom of Engadget if I wanted to. In Chrome, I cannot. Now, it's a lot more, well, I won't say a lot more, but it's more limited um, in the distance that I can scroll. Whereas, let me see if I can show you here in the um, ICS browser, just as an example. We'll pull it up. Okay, so here's the same page uh, in Gadget, and I can just flick all the way to the bottom in one swipe, whereas in the Chrome browser, just to demonstrate it again, I cannot. It takes a couple of swipes. Now, of course, the site's still loading, but yeah, I mean, it takes about three swipes really uh, if I do the long swipes like I mean that it's not a big deal but I, I like to be in a in a little bit more control over my swipes uh, I did love the way they did it in ICS where you know I could swipe I've 
would venture to guess that Google changed that for reasons of smoothness, um, kind of similar to what they do uh, on the what uh, Apple does on the iPhone, where they limit the amount of scrolling. Now, the amount of scrolling, the distance isn't as limited as what you'll see um, on the iPhone, but um, there's definitely now uh, some limitations that they put in there uh, with the scrolling. Uh, and the other gripe that I have is in the in the uh, address bar here, uh, sometimes there can be a slight delay um, when you're typing something in there. So let's say I want it to go to uh, the smartphone champ. Well, there was no delay there. Uh, let's try something else. Um, let me think of a website. Let's try NBA.com. Hmm. Well, it didn't do a delay there either, uh, but there have been times where I've used it and when I started typing in, it would hesitate a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be doing that now, uh, which is a good thing. You know, again, it's a beta, so I wouldn't take too much from that. But uh, hey, the fact that it's absent right now in this demonstration is definitely a good thing. Um, so, you know, I like the smoothness of it. The tab browsing is unrivaled. It is gorgeous. It is fantastic. Google hit a home run there. Um, changing tabs on the screen. I mean, the whole nine yards is, is just great. <laughs> um, I can't speak enough about it. Um, the tab syncing. Again, they hit a home run with that. It's easy. There's nothing for you to do. Um, all you have to do is just open up a tab like you normally would on your computer. And then when you get on your phone, when you open your new tab, instead, you just hit the button there and pull up whichever tab it is that you want to pull up. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. Um, so overall, I feel like it's a very nice browser. Um, <laughs> I miss Flash. I wish it was there, but hey, we'll move on. Uh, HTML5 will definitely be catching on soon, uh, hopefully sooner than later, because, you know, right now there are a lot of sites that are still using Flash. Uh, so hopefully they go ahead and, and migrate on over to HTML5 pretty quickly. Um, of course, with this being a beta version, uh, it really has me optimistic uh, for future versions of Chrome. Uh, I really feel like the future versions are going to be pretty awesome uh, when they add more features in, like, say, uh, full screen. Um, I'm hoping that they put in an a, um, a option that lets you have the buttons there. I would love that because, uh, I mean, to be able to surf the web uh, using the full screen real estate, I mean, that would really be nice. Um, I mean, the tab syncing eliminates the need for Chrome to phone. Uh, I love that. Uh, so overall, I'm pretty impressed with the browser. It's very fast. It's very snappy. Um, it's just as fast as ICS. In some aspects, it might even be a little bit faster. Um, I won't go as far as to say it's faster, but there have been times I noticed it seems to load uh, some things slightly faster. But I mean, we're talking about, what, milliseconds here? So I guess that really doesn't matter. Um, but overall, I really feel like they hit a home run um, with this browser. Um, and they did a hell of a job. And considering that this is just a beta, <laughs> I mean, wow, that really gives us something to look forward to. Um, so again, thanks for watching, guys, and catch you next time. Take care.